uh, wiki for November the 22nd. Um, first off, I have to tell you a little bit about the wikis. So the purpose of the wikis is to uh, provide a feed of power level ratings for characters from DC and Marvel. Um, so essentially power level ratings for their feats. And uh, the, so the, the, the overall purpose plan is to set up a database of feats for characters from DC and Marvel. So far I have about 15, 12 to 15 feats. I have set up already a couple of wiki pages for uh, Superman, um, Superman, Cyborg, Hulk, Luke Cage, and Silver Surfer. So for November the 22nd, I'm previewing a feat by The Flash, Wally West, in JLA89. So if you look at this at this wiki, you can tell that I uh, actually have the character's name first. Also, if if it's the same the same uh, the same superhero code name but different character, I use I use a comma and then I put the civilian name and then I have the uh, the issue the series the volume and then the issue number. So this is pretty new. I actually have at the top uh, links to social media. So we have Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Share, and Reddit. So I think it's, it looks pretty nice so far. So I'm, I'm thinking of continuing this trend. On the right, you can have a preview of the table of contents. So you can scroll down and see um, essentially what the post is about, if you're interested in it or not. If you're not interested in it, you can move on to another post. So here is the wiki in question. So the the story, the story of the theme is in power level. So it's about the power level for the, the splash is feet. And then um, I have a, a, an image of flash Wally West and a table. Flash then in, in parentheses while he wears new earth. So it's a new earth continuity. And the, the core name is Flash and the, the civilian identity is while he wears. So here is a description intro for, for the feed. In JLA 89 title, Trial by Fire Part 6 of 6, Flash performs a super speed feed. Now if you right click on this one and you can probably open up to what the super, another super speed feed. Dangerously Furnace has detonated. So Furnace is actually a genetic evolution of Jean Jean's uh, Elias Martian Manhunter. Furnace has detonated a nuclear weapon. So this is in, in trial by fire. Jean Jean has finally overcome his fire weakness and he became Furnace. Now the problem is Furnace is evil and he needs to essentially start a nuclear war or Armageddon in order to spawn children. So the, the jelly has to do everything they can to contain or destroy Furnace. Unfortunately the jelly manages to stop them except one. So here was Superman who was trying to stop the, the, the last nuclear weapon from, from exploding. And I exported in a city called Train in, in, Nor in North Korea. At the hero's breath short of the speed of light, flash evacuates to 532,000 citizens of Chongyi to a hilltop 35 miles away within 0 0.00001 microseconds. That's pretty impressive. How much super speed does it take for a flash to evacuate the 532,000 citizens of Chongyi? It's 0 0.00001 microseconds over 35 mile distance. Now here's the thing, and I think I actually go over over it in my calculations. Actually, I go over it later. Um, it's about the total distance that flash traveled. Um, here is the scan of of flash's feet, and I have the caption down here. 
and then let me go over to um, so I have a video from a user on, on YouTube called Ivan the Unstoppable who essentially goes over how fast or strong is the flash while you west now here's a part that I probably love, love the most is basically our calculations I have two calculations here's the actual calculations and then here's a table that kind of summarizes the calculations for the feed so let's go to visit our calculations in order to save some 532 so this is actually a typo it's 532,000 men, women and children in Chongi flash carries them one or two at a time 35 miles away within 0 0.00001 microseconds we will estimate the total distance flash travel to calculate the speed number crunching since flash carried the citizens of Chongi one or two at a time we will assume for simplicity that he carried them one at a time so he actually carried them one or two at a time but um, you have to set up maybe like a series or something to essentially alternate between one or two but it might be a little bit complicated so I just assumed that it was that they carried them one at a time it doesn't really make that much of a difference because at most he would have carried let's see 216,000 men, women and children if he had carried them two at a time so it doesn't make that much of a difference I'm uh, sorry 266,000 men, women and children yeah in addition we have to multiply the total distance by two so here's a, what I was talking about the total distance that you traveled in addition we have to multiply the total distance by two since fast fast travels to join and to the hilltop to evacuate the citizens is citizens so you have to to take one citizen from Chongying. So travel to Chongying with one citizen and then uh, travel to Chongying to pick up one citizen and then travel to um, the hilltop to, to, to drop the citizen and then go back again to Chongying. So that's at least twice. So that's at least twice the distance he would have traveled. So twice that. So let's calculate the total distance flash travel. Most 35 miles equals to 56,327 meters. So you multiply by 2 the total dis the distance that it that 35 miles in meters, and then you multiply that by the number of humans. So since we assume that he, he carried only one, one human at a time, it was 532,000 humans. So we get this distance. So this is the total distance that he traveled. That's the maximum distance he has traveled. And then we calculate the speed. So speed is, is equal to distance over time. And here the time is actually 0 0.00001 microseconds. So you must you take 0 0.00001. Then you multiply by 10 to the negative 6. And then you get, you get that in seconds. So the speed is really, really, really large. It's 5.99 times 10 to 21 meters per second. So I actually looked over light year distance, and the light year is about 10 to the 15 meters. So and the universe is about 93 billion light years. So if Flash had traveled at that speed, he would have essentially at least some calculations into it. He would have uh, traveled the, the universe, the whole, the entirety of the universe within 2.7 hours, which is really impressive. So that shows just how fast he went. Accelerating his mass to infinity while he had so super speed, accelerating his mass to infinity while he had to move faster than light. Indeed, he evacuated 532,000 citizens of Xiangying within 0 0.00001 microsecond of a nuclear explosion. Flash generated 5.99 thousand to 21 meters per second of super speed. In order to break the speed of light, Flash had to generate a universal level of super speed. So that's why I said a universal level because essentially you could have traveled the universe in a, in a short amount of time, relatively short amount of time. However, Flash produced an infinite amount of kinetic energy. Yeah, because um, since he likely had hard to go, go faster than light, he would have hard to accelerate his mass infinity. And if you try, if you calculate the, the amount of energy required, if you, try, you, you multiply his mass, you multiply half times his mass times 
uh, the speed squared and that gives you one half times its mass times infinity squared so that gives you infinity so you, you would have had an infinite amount of kinetic energy which is really impressive now I click on show less and we'll go back to this calculation now let's go back up and I have I have the feet the, the feet in question here talking about if the feet itself in the issue flash evacuated 532,000 men, women and children from showing you. In fact, he carried them one or two at a time to a hill 25 miles away within 0 0.00001 microseconds of a nuclear explosion. Importantly, that generated an infinite amount of kinetic energy. Similarly, the equivalent of 5.99 times 10 to 21 meters per second faster than light. So that's really impressive. That shows just how fast he is. He went essentially hard to time travel. Enough super speed to time travel far greater than the rate of universal expansion. So that's that's in, that's some some serious stuff, serious level of super speed. The super speed feed is universal. Usually on my super speed uh, scale I have essentially um, stellar for speeds below essentially speed of speed of comets and stellar objects. And then I have supersonic below that, which is essentially the speed of sun and, and above until you reach the stellar, stellar object speed. And then above the stellar, the stellar speed, I have cosmic, which is essentially the speed of light. So when Silver Surfer turned back time uh, in Silver Surfer 6, that was in his early issues in the 60s, it uh, actually used a cosmic level of super speed. The creates universal because he went far beyond the, the speed of light. So this is really, really impressive. And let's do a search for server surface 6. So I have originally uh, created a wiki for server surface 6. And let's do a search. So as you can see in here, it's server surface, server surface volume 1 6. Here's also the server surface wiki and the health wiki. So let's click on server surface, server surface volume 1 6. And let's see what it looks like. As you can tell, I don't have the. Uh, uh, since it's a previous post, I don't have the uh, social media links. Uh, I might add them later on. So here's what it looks like. Here's a clip of content, and here's a, a rating for the feed, which is supposed to be cosmic. Uh, this is what the, the post looks like, so the wiki looks like so far. The wiki is the text so far. Um, you can essentially do a search for just about any character here in the search box for wiki, so you can see what it looks like. Here are the, the wiki pages so far, server software, wiki, 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 sapper, wiki, superman wiki, and park wiki. And there's also the power level wiki, PC characters, normal characters. So let me click on server software wiki. And let me show you what it looks like. So I have a featured image for server software at the top. And here is what is, it looks like so far. Um, you can see I really love the color gradient. It's really beautiful. Um, I'm also using a background image. Marvel uh, background image. So I have some different sections. Origin, story, powers and abilities. Paraphernalia, battles. I love these battles a lot. And feats. These are the feats so far. So I plan on essentially, I plan on essentially updating these uh, these battles and feats to the wiki pages for the characters, and then for notes for references to issues, and then I have the characters there. Um, links below. So this is what the wiki database looks like so far. Um, as you can see, it's still, I'm still bringing things up. 
I'm, I'm really excited about, of, of what is becoming and I'm really looking forward to adding more wiki pages and more wikis. And as always, you can reach me on the website, on the contact page. You can also reach me on Facebook and you can send me uh, a message on Facebook or comment to any post I share on Facebook. And also, um, you can also write reviews, give a review. I would really love for you to give a review on the, on the Facebook page or even on any of the, of the articles on, on the database comments on the database comments website. And finally, you can also reach me on Twitter. So, in any case, um, I hope you enjoy this content. I, I, I really enjoy creating this content. I'm looking forward to creating more and to hearing more from you. I'm really looking forward to your input. Um, there is a database comics Facebook group. You can join it if you're interested. We talk about a lot of things. Doesn't get a, a lot of comments, but I get a lot of uh, uh, a lot of um, lo people should look look at it. Some of my posts and they think they seem to enjoy it. So I keep I keep posting to database comments Facebook. Group. In any case, you guys uh, have a good rest of your day. You work on your fandom.